Good morning, Becky. So Pfizer and BioNTech have done their own preliminary lab studies looking at how well their vaccines could work against the Omicron variant, putting out the first data this morning, uh, saying essentially that three doses, so a booster shot of their vaccine against Omicron, appears to provide the same level of neutralizing antibodies as two doses against the older strain. And so what they're suggesting here is that a booster dose can uh, return the antibody levels to that height that does provide good protection against infection. Uh, they found that uh, two doses uh, may still protect against severe disease, likely because of the T-cell response, but uh, there was a 25-fold decline in those neutralizing antibody levels against Omicron for just two doses. They find when they give that third dose, they are boosted 25-fold higher, uh, and so that restores that protection. Albert Borla, the CEO of Pfizer, saying in the release this morning, quote, although two doses of the vaccine may still offer protection against severe disease caused by the Omicron strain. It's clear from these preliminary data that protections improved with a third dose of our vaccine. So guys, this is some potentially good news this morning. The companies still say they are working on an Omicron-specific vaccine, which they began November 25th. They could have that ready by March if it's needed, uh, but this will contribute to decision-making around whether it is needed or if boosters will be sufficient to restore protection. Um, last night, we got some data from South Africa that were jarring and suggested uh, the neutralizing antibody levels were 40-fold lower against Omicron from two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, uh, a suggestion there that a booster would work, but getting more data from Pfizer and BioNTech this morning. Guys, back over to you. Meg, this is uh, good news, and in fact, we're watching the futures. They, the Dow futures went from negative territory to up uh, about 80 points above fair value right now. Um, it, it's really important, and I think it hinges on the idea of whether you need to wait months to get this new formulation or not. If the booster looks like it's effective, um, as effective as the two doses were against the older variants, that is pretty incredibly significant news. Yeah, absolutely. And also of real importance here is that um, they do expect two doses to still potentially protect against severe disease. And while, of course, it's very important to protect against infection as well, what experts have really been worried about is whether there would be a decline in protection uh, in keeping people out of the hospital or dying from COVID. Uh, so it does still seem like there's a good wall of protection here. We need more information and we need more data. And a lot more is going to be forthcoming over the next few days and weeks uh, but this really a positive sign this morning that a booster dose, which is already available, uh, should boost those antibody levels up against Omicron. Uh, Meg, the, uh, I don't know if I've, I've heard you parse out T-cell uh, immunity, and you, you, you mentioned it briefly, but we're measuring antibodies here, and that's, that's the, uh, what I think you're keying on and what the market's probably keying on, 25-fold uh, increase. Uh, but uh, it's much harder to assay T-cell, but maybe two shots gives you some T-cell uh, benefits. Three probably gives you more. I guess the other thing I'd ask is, do we expect to see the same decline over time from the third boost or from the booster or the third shot so that, you know, if it's still around in a year, you're talking a fourth and maybe it'd be the fourth one would be more suited to, to Omicron. We're going with Omicron now. I know you're going with Omicron. I might listen to Borlo, <laughs> what, what he said, but uh, maybe even a, a I don't know. That just begs a question. A fourth, obviously, eight months from now for people that have had three, I'm sure that would do another 25 fold increase in antibodies. So it, it just looks like this is going to be something that could be theoretically could be annual. That certainly be good for Pfizer. <laughs> yeah, having these shots be annual would be good for Pfizer and Moderna and all the vaccine companies. Um, but on all of those questions, uh, on the T-cell responses, uh, it's really interesting here. They note that... Um there are enough that uh, don't seem to change uh, in terms of Omicron and being able to, to recognize that with T-cells, that that's why they expect two doses uh, to be able to provide protection yeah. against severe disease with Omicron. But they also note that a third dose strongly increases CD8 T-cell levels against multiple spike protein epitopes, which are considered to correlate with protection against severe disease. Um, so that is why they note that uh, compared with the wild-type virus, the vast majority of these remain unchanged in the Omicron spike variant. Um, so that's why they expect the, the severe disease protection to hold up. Um, in terms of how quickly these antibody levels decline, like we've seen with the first two doses, that's something they're going to have to be looking at over time. And perhaps it wouldn't be surprising if they do, we do see the same decay right. there and have to get boosted again. And then which booster we get is a question.